because of that beautiful, breathy voice. Uh, Leah, obviously, I know that song means a lot to you. It's one of my favourites. I mean, like, there's so many in, in the catalogue to like. I, I love that song. Uh, Mrs Green was, was nice enough to let me include that in our wedding vows. Wow. That, that was the major part of our ceremony. But, um, I, listen, hats off to you. What's interesting about you, and don't take this in the wrong way, but you, you have this kind of underdog vibe about you, in a positive way. It's you know, my it's, height, isn't it? No, it's not that. <laughs> I think what it is, 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 is you're not forceful with the song, you're not shoving it down our throats, and I think you made the song your own. You weren't trying to copy Frank. You don't seem like someone that's, that's sitting at home listening to Frank Sinatra records all day, which I think is a good thing, because it's we're trying to find someone yeah. who is saying, this is a, a fantastic song that Frank Sinatra sung, let me see what I can do with it. And I think you achieved that tonight. Well done. Wow. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, yeah. That's, that's lovely. That's really lovely. Yeah. Well, you did a fantastic job. Don't forget, uh, we have our experts here in the studio, but it's our jury of music industry heavyweights who will judge each act on their vocal performance before they decide the winner. For now, though, put your hands together one more time for Marley. <laughs> Panel of experts over here made of that, guys. Come over here. Yes. Now, Rufus, I know you're very, very familiar with that song. Yeah, that's right. What, it's, it, this is that? my Frank Sinatra song. Oh, this is you. This is like this is him. when I put on, you know, uh, Live at the Sands. This is like this is the one I'm waiting for. And and as a result, you you build up relationships with these songs. Mm -hmm. So to hear other people, like it's like basically you took my girlfriend out. <laughs> and, and what you did was yeah, you took one. her for a lunch, you bought her a beautiful salad, some sparkling water, you read her the paper, and you had a home by six just like you were meant to. But Frank <laughs> would have taken her for a burger straight to a motel and ordered, you know, more whiskey for afterwards. <laughs> um, you, you could have, you know, ruffled its hair a bit. That's all. Yeah. Oh, okay. My girl, yeah. OK. Misha, obviously, yes. this is a vocal harmony group. Yeah. What did you think to that? Well, before I even go on to the vocals, mm -hmm. um, first of all, I love the way you look. And I thought that the outfit... <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. But I look at you, and the first thing I'm thinking is Rat Pack. That's what I wanted to see. We can't fault your performance. No, no. It's mm -hmm. absolutely perfect. You nailed it. You did yeah. it right. You did. But... I would, you know, especially you, because you, 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 you know. <laughs> you, he's got this. Have you he's, got a little no, he's just a, he's a character. When he's he, your facial expressions, you really give it. And I would have liked to have seen all of you do your own little expressions. That's I would okay. have seen. I would have liked to have seen the rap back. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Dave, what did you make of that? I think they did the scariest thing so far, which is unaccompanied mm. yes. singing in harmony. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Um, I think that it was a really bold thing to do, and I thought you did it brilliantly, and you, you know, you hit all the notes, and I know it was, it's very nerve-wracking doing something like that. So I think you get lots of votes for the nerve-wracking. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, James. Now, Leo, how did you feel hearing the song, you know, being sung that way? Interesting. I'm kind of struggling here a little bit because I think musically and technically, like Dave said, what you did was fabulous. Mm -hmm. I can't fault the harmonies. Everything was in tune. You've obviously rehearsed and rehearsed and that came across. Stylistically for me, I struggle with the, the barbershop quartet thing. There'd be people out there that enjoyed it, mm -hmm. the people at home that enjoyed it, and that's the whole point. Disagree. Well, it's, it's his taste. It's, it's about, taste, you know, yeah. everyone has different tastes. There'd be people that loved it. For me personally, I think you sung it fantastically. Mm. Not my cup of tea, but that's not the point. Well done. <laughs> says you need to take that song downtown and uh, and uh, give it a give it a better time maybe yeah we could ruffle do. its hair yeah I think I think it's just we're, we're a bit nervous so our personalities do usually shine through a bit more but it's we're really nervous we're rights, all like <laughs> astonishing performance Thank you. very well done Lee. let's hear it again for proper sound <laughs> Our panel of experts made of that. Yes, Russia. Rufus, you were on your feet there. I mean, if you heard Ellie Buskin that song in the street, would you stop and listen? Uh, I mean. Yeah, how much money do you want? You know, you, I'll, I'll lots. just give you. The, she wants lots. Well, I'll give you the deeds to my house if I hear you sing that song like that. <laughs> you know, that was authentic. It came from somewhere. You told the story of it. You connected with the song. It was completely enchanting. Musically, it was brilliant. It had a jazz flavour that Sinatra would absolutely have understood. Everything about that was just wondrous. And I cannot believe that. That this is somebody that we don't know. This is uh, it's it's a it's a privilege to have heard you sing that. So thank you very much. Wow. Misha, did Ellie get under your skin 
in a good way. She got under my skin in every single way. <laughs> I mean, you really have the timing down. You know, you, you made it your own. And, you know, it's funny, we're, we're speaking about Frank, but I was feeling Amy, a bit of Amy Winehouse. I was feeling Sarah Vaughan in there as well. You really nailed it. You know, you, you've got the execution that you draw the person into your vocal. It's fabulous. She's Thank really you. amazing. Wow. Amazing. 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 And Dave, as a, as a fellow guitarist yourself, what yes. did you make of Ellie's performance? I agree with uh, these two. It's, um, it's something to come on stage and sing a song, and then it's something else completely to make it in your world. Like, take mm -hmm. it and get hold of it and, you know, how do I make this fit me so that I can express it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which he did. And uh, your vocal performance was great. I was watching you play the guitar because that's quite a number of tough chords you're going through at the same time as singing. And you nailed it. Wow. Thank you. Now, Leo, I know that is another one of your favourite yeah. Sinatra songs. Well, to be honest, they're all your favourite. <laughs> We've established there's no, that. There's no stinkers in there, let's be honest. <laughs> Even the bad ones are uh, great. Yeah. What did you make of Ellie's rendition? That's a hard song to sing. There's no obvious chorus in it. You know, when Frank Sinatra recorded that, he did it 22 times. He did 22 takes. Mm. And he was Frank Sinatra, and you just nailed that in one. Wow. So, you know... <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think in the, in, the words of, in the words of one of the great poets, we've got one here. <laughs> well done. Brilliant comment. Brilliant. Is, there, is there anything I can say that can improve your night? Anything at all? <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> comment. Just uh, wonderful. I'm sorry, I'm actually, like, I, I wasn't feeling nervous earlier on, and now I'm just really overwhelmed. Oh. <laughs> so. Well done. Well, listen, you don't need to feel nervous Thank at you. all. You're a long way from busking. That was just outstanding. Thank what a fantastic Thank performance. You. One more time, let's hear it for Ellie. <laughs> let's go over here. Rochelle. I know, I, I like love that. I've, I've grown up listening to Frank, I'm sure, as we all have, and that's one of my favourite songs. Did you enjoy that, Rufus? I, I really did. It's, it's tricky on this show, though, I think, that kind of... Performance because on your own terms that was absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Doing what you do, what the glamour phones are, uh, when you watch this back, you will burst. This is the best version of what you guys can do. I'm absolutely certain. But is it? I don't quite know what the hook of it being anything to do with Frank is. Oh. No, look. <laughs> oh, boo! All your life. <laughs> The glamour, you brought the sophistication. I enjoyed it. Uh, Misha, uh, obviously, they're all about the harmonies of gramophones. What did you well, think? Well, the harmonies, definitely fantastic harmonies. Let's keep it real. Thank Beautiful you. harmonies. <laughs> and, you know, um, you know, synchronicity, all on the... You know, you definitely listen to each other. You get it right. What you present is you do it really, really well. But I can't remember Frank when you're doing it. That's the only problem, unfortunately. I okay. think that's a kind of good thing, cos we are making it so much our own way yes. that you almost forget anyone else. Yeah, we're inspired so... by him, aren't yeah. we? That's... Yeah. No, I, I totally get that, but I still want to feel that Frank is in there. Yeah. Dave, obviously the girls, you know, like they've just said, they took a big risk taking on such a signature Frank song. How, how did it work for you? <clears throat> well, it reminded me of the Andrews sisters, and um, that's obviously where <laughs> their heart is. I agree a bit with the others about the Frank Sinatra thing, but it was meant to be doing it in a completely different way. Yeah. So that's what you were doing. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. uh, and, and Leo, obviously we know that Frank loved this song, even though he didn't sing it in the film. Sure. What did you make of that tonight? I think, you know, I'm a bit with everyone here. I, like, I think what you did was great, it was in tune and in time, but for me, you know, Guys and Dolls is about gangsters and murderers, and that was just a bit too chirpy for me. Yeah, it's too sweet. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't forget, these guys are just commentators. The jury, <laughs> the real jury, I will judge. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's see what they make of it. But uh, very, very well done. I thought that was an astonishing performance. Uh, please show your appreciation one more time for the Glamophone. So that's it. Seven inspired and wonderful performances. But who will be putting away their dreams for another day? And whose will come true tonight? Well, that is in the hands of the 11 members of our jury room. It Michelle. is indeed. Now, they've been watching from the jury room and their job is to rank each act from first to seventh place. They'll be basing their judgments on what they've just seen, so let's remind ourselves of all of tonight's performances. <laughs> Seven incredible performances.
there, but only one can win that unbelievable prize. I'm just pleased I'm not on the jury. I don't know how they're going to do it. But while they are voting, we have one more very special performance for you. He's a big fan of Sinatra himself, so I know that he's going to love this. But more importantly, so are you. With You Make Me Feel So Young, singing Frank Sinatra his way, it's our very own Alexander Armstrong. <laughs> Jury very soon and revealing who has won the chance to perform on the bill at that Frank Sinatra centenary concert. I can tell you there's a lot of tension and excitement building in the room. Now, I believe that the results are in. Oh, this is very exciting I'm indeed. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Yes, I can tell you that the votes are indeed in. They have been verified by an independent adjudicator. That's how serious it is. It is now time to announce the winner. Seven acts have stepped into the shoes of the great Frank Sinatra, so let's welcome them back. Max and Jason. Nadia. George. Molly. Proper sound. Ellie. And finally, the gramophone. This is it. You all perform Frank Sinatra your way, but only one of you can win that incredible prize of performing at the Sinatra Centenary Concert in December. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Frank Sinatra Our Way is... George Gallagher! Sinatra Centenary Concert held at the Eventim Apollo in London this December. Now, I tell you, so many greats have trod those boards before you. Frank himself, of course, the likes of the Beatles, Dolly Parton, most recently, of course, Kate Bush, and soon, George. Yes! <laughs> Amazing! I'm so excited for you. Congratulations to you. You're going to perform your song again, so off you go and get ready now. I've been like saving that. that one all night. Thanks to our brilliant contestants, to our experts, Dave Stewart, Misha Paris, Rufus Hound and Leo Green, and to the Alway jury, our superb band, our audience in here tonight, and to all of you at home. And, of course, we couldn't have done it without the great Frank Sinatra. So, Frank, thanks to you. Thank you. But the night, of course, belongs to George. So, playing us out and doing it his way, it's our winner, George Gallagher. Good night. Good night.